Just one of Saturday's West Ham result, another one of those games that goes by where the performance is there, but you don't get the points on the board. How much frustrating was that? Yeah, very frustrating. Um, we had lots of opportunities to to get a goal. Um, obviously, we didn't do so. So it's another it's another game we could have got three points, but we only took the one. Yeah, you had a chance as well, didn't you? About eight yards out ahead. Of yeah, definitely. I need to start. You're waiting for your first goal. Yeah, I need to start putting them in uh, to obviously help us with the three points. That's something I need to work, I need to keep working on. Um, what extra do you need to work on? Because it seems as if the team are gelling. Um, the performances at the start of the season are, are out there. What what extra do you have to do? I just feel like we just need to we need to find the back of the net, um, get ourselves into those positions as much as we can, um, in the box as much as we can to get positions uh, to try and score goals. And obviously in those games that we do concede some rubbish goals, we need to we as a team and as defenders need to keep them out the out the goal to give the strikers the best chance of winning the game for us. You did play four at the back again uh, against West Ham and had a clean sheet. Obviously, the, the, the three at the back change that Scott Parker brought in, brought in is what's made a, a big difference for you. What's the difference for you as a defender playing in those two different systems? Um, I just feel like there's different types of control in the game. Um, playing with, with three at the back, obviously, that's that, that helps us with our, with our build-up going forward. Um, we did so again. We dropped the midfielder in to make that three at the back in possession on, on the weekend. So it just gives us different types of control. You, you played back against Everton at, at Craven Cottage, 3-2 defeat in the end. What, what do you remember about that match? Um, it was a slow start from us. Uh, we conceded quite quite early on. Um, we got hit with a few goals quite early on. And then we got ourselves into the game, but just didn't be able to pull the result back. Yeah, Dominic flew in twice on the score sheet. What, yeah. what can you do on Sunday to try and keep him quiet? Yeah, with DC, I'll just have to... I have to stay as close as close as you can to him, especially in the box. Um, try and nullify any 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 chances that he gets. Yeah, what well, what is it about him as a striker that makes him difficult to defend against? I think he's got a bit of everything. Um, he's very fast, strong, can jump like a gazelle. Um, and he he's obviously he's scoring goals. He can score all types of goals. He's a good finisher, good with his head. So he's just got all round game. That's that's tough to, to tough to play against. Yeah, but your, your fellow defenders though, you seem to have, have got a really a good understanding with Ola Aina and uh, and working Anderson as well. What have you been working on together, and and how have you found working with them? Um, good, good, very good. Um, us as a back three, as I feel like we're we're our main job is to is to keep the ball out of the net, and that's what our focus is going into the game. We also try to help the team get control from the back. Um, but we also have great support, obviously, from the rest of the boys. To, uh, it's, a, it's a team effort to get those goals away from our goal. Everton's home form isn't great. Um, is that something you, that you on Sunday? Is it something you ever think about? Um, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say form, but we go we go to any any ground and and think that we're able to win and and get a good result. When you went to Leicester. You managed to get a good goal. People have maybe you won against against the big teams. Does that give you a bit of extra confidence that you've managed to take points off, off the big teams this year? Uh, yeah, definitely. We know that we can we can go toe to toe with any any team in this league. So it gives us lots of confidence going into those games. Um, in terms of the relegation battle, how confident are you that this Fulham side, as you're playing at the moment, can, can stay up? No, I have full belief. Um, we can get as many points. I, I believe we can get lots of points from from the remaining games. We have we have some good fixtures coming up, and we are, we're all ready for it. Is there a chat within the dressing room between the players about the situation that you're in and what you need to do to get yourselves out of it? Yeah, definitely. Um, little chats happen with with groups of players pretty much daily. Um, things that we can we think we can improve on. I've just had a conversation before coming in here with with uh, Frank and Mario about things that we could we could improve on. Um, so things like that happen, happen daily because we're not in the best position. So something that we need to do. What's the main thing that you think you have to improve on? There's lots of small details to be honest with you. Um, but ultimately it is, it, we all know it is 
putting the, the ball in the back of the net, whether that's the strikers or whether that's me or any of the other defenders coming up and, and, and helping the team get some goals. You, you've got Burnley, Sheffield United coming up after and Everton. How, how crucial are those two games going to be? Uh, they're massive games. Obviously, we know they're in and around us in the in the league, so we know we have to get as many points as we can from those games. Mm. Do, do, do you keep an eye on on their results, teams in and around you? Yeah, definitely. Um, we have to see what we're up against. Just like we have to see who's near us and what we what we have to push for. So we just know the gap and how we have to, how much harder we have to work. Just want to talk a little bit about um, your transition from Manchester City uh, to, to Fulham. Yeah. Uh, you signed on a on a three year deal. How, how much of a, a a boost was that for you to be able to get the opportunity to play Premier League football, having having been in and around so long? So I asked a bit again. So you cut off a little bit. But how good how good was it? For you? able to get in and, and be playing Premier League football when you'd been at, at Manchester City so long? Oh, it was it was something that I, I knew I was ready for, something that I was looking forward to. So when the opportunity uh, came about, I just knew it was it was my time. Yeah, you, you slotted in really well to, to Fulham as well. What, what was the difference between going from Man City to coming to Fulham and how have you all gelled? Because there were quite a few new players all joining at the same time. Yeah, um, obviously we had a bunch of, of, of new boys coming in, um, but we all have the same focus of helping this team get to where it needs to be. So I think that's that's something that's helped us, helped us, Joe. And what's it been like for you working under Scott Parker? What has he brought for, to your game? Oh, it's just given me the, the chance to show what I can do in this, in this league. And obviously he knows what a great squad we have, so he has full belief in us and gives us lots of confidence. You've had a great season. Do you feel as if you've got something to prove and you want people to see what a good defender you are? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, we have, we, we boss, everyone in this team has got something to prove and we, us as a club have got something to prove to prove to this league that we are a great team. I think that the, our performances have showed that, especially against the big teams, that uh, that we're not just an easy push over team, that we have got great players in this in this squad. You certainly have. Just finally, um, for you personally, what, what's your goal this season? Um, stay in the Premier League, finish as, uh, as high up in the Premier League as we can.